we have breaking news, breaking news coming out of Jerusalem, out of Israel. United States Secretary of State John F. Kerry is meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem for the third time in 24 hours. Now, he has also met once with the uh, president of the Palestinian Authority, Maud Abbas. He met first with Benjamin Netanyahu and then with Abbas. He then met again with Benjamin Netanyahu and then was to go to the Air Force Base, the Israeli Air Force Base, and meet with Defense Minister Yalan. But instead, that has been canceled and he made a quick trip back to Jerusalem. So there is breaking news I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, when's the last time you heard the Prime Minister of Israel meeting with uh, another dignitary of this stature three times in 24 hours? So, folks, there is something taking place. I'm sure it has to do with two fronts. The Iranian nuclear deal that, of course, Benjamin Netanyahu is, is, is completely against and is opposing and is threatening to use military force against Iran. And, of course, there's the Palestinian peace talks that are also ongoing in their fifth month that John Kerry has set a nine-month timeline on. So we're going to continue to monitor it on this Friday, December the 6th, 2013, as the Middle East is a center point of the time clock of God's uh, time. We're going, the biblical time frame is centered around, of course, Israel and the city of Jerusalem, of course, as we know in the biblical scriptures, that Christ will return even and stand upon the Mount of Olives. Uh, there is so much going to take place uh, in these end times, including the signing of the Daniel 9.27, the covenant with many, which is being worked on right now, and the rebuilding of the third temple. But of course, the Antichrist and the spirit of darkness is also working over time in preparation uh, of the mark of the beast and the rise of the Antichrist with his false prophets. So you can believe this. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. We'll be right back with more information today.